Alright, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Happenings YouTube Atheist Community and Stick and Fun. Special Vlogger Dome edition. Well, first of many. Yes, the first What the Fuck Not. <laughs> yes, not to be on YouTube. Uh, I think. Well, whatever. I think I probably protested before, but this one will probably stick. Sadly. Mostly. Anyway, yeah, we talked about movies last night and stick am. Mostly. Aliens and whatnot and so forth and, you know, whatever. And that is sort of interesting. Uh, we talked about other stuff also. But, so it was a, it was a real well-rounded evening once it got going. Start off a little slow, I have to concede. First hour and a half, two hours or whatever. But a little bit, uh, yeah. uh But Paul's ego uh, spent some good time, quality time. Quality time with Paul. Should call the room that. Quality time with Paul. This really does help. Uh, but the usual is edible napalm and boo boo and gray guy and lots of people and yeah, it's good. Um, very helpful. Uh, yeah, I don't know how purposeful, but helpful. Uh, but yeah, it's always interesting. Piero, I mean, you know, Piero's everywhere lately. It's like some sort of cockroach or something. <laughs> it just, uh, you know, you keep, keep stepping on it and it keeps coming back, right? Uh, it's probably relatives though. I have that with a flea, a flea in my house, and oh, yeah, I know it's probably more than one flea, <laughs> yeah, but damn cat. Um, uh, so yeah, it's irritating. Uh, gotta fix that. There's so many things to fix. <sighs> yeah, my, I'm so itchy just even thinking about it. Ew, 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 ew. Um. <laughs> yeah, now I'm really distracted. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how life works. Uh, you really have to be in it to uh, realize what the hell is going on. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, I wish I could say something. I just said, uh, you know, I can't think of particulars from the evening. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a good conversation. I got most of it on MP3s. Unfortunately, I missed some of the best parts. Towards the end, there was something good. I can't really remember what it was, but I thought it was a, a quick conversation. I think I did. Oh, I mean, part of it is I'm just so tired. Oh, it's just ugh, way too much crap. Um, and I'm, you know, too dysfunctional. And, uh, yeah, I have to do something about that. Um, but it does give you this perspective thing, especially when you're a little bit miserable, or a lot miserable. These are just like, it's just so obvious. What are people, what are people doing? What the hell are they doing? Draining the pond or something? Oh, so annoying. Ruined my path with his water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I mean, really a mess. Uh, anyway. I mean, you know, it didn't rain or anything. So finally have dry weather and this asshole has to drain his pond into my path. Stupid fuckers. And there's prickers everywhere, so alternative routes don't seem possible. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Fuck, sorry. Um, destruction and such. And, ow. Yeah, see now I just got another gouge in my goddamn leg. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so you get this perspective thing. And, uh, I mean, it's just so, so obvious and it's almost painful to watch people just stepping over, just keep optimistically doing this thing, this life thing with all this gusto crap. And you're just like, oh, please, just get real. I mean, yeah, live your life, but don't do that baby thing. I mean, the baby thing has just gotten so obnoxious to me. You just see that, and you just say, what are you investing in? <laughs> I mean, what's the plan here? I mean, damn it. <sighs> yeah, you know, I just can't get it. I can't get it. I can't, I can't even go back and think of a time when that made any sense to me. Uh, just because the risk is so high. And it's so obnoxious, the downside. But that's the thing, people just get caught up. You know, they're horny and in the game. And they, uh, they're they feeling strong. And they just don't. Uh, they just can't really properly imagine 
uh, what it is to be really, really in pain, you know, both psychologically and physically, you know, what it is to, you know, just fight to, to get through days, um, and just how awful that is, and uh, they're just too distant from it, so they just, they just presume a kind of immunity, as if it isn't part of uh, the substantial character of existence, when it's, yeah, it is, you're just really, really damn lucky to avoid the hard shit, some of it's going to fall on you, but they're all acting like it's not, and a lot of that's just youth, you know, they had no perspective, uh, you know, they've never been really fucked in the bad way, um, yeah, Anyway, that's kind of dark, but, you know, sort of my nature, and my ass is just, <laughs> this is just, <laughs> you know, I got that, uh, once you got that itch thing in your head, it's just, dude, it's everywhere. Uh, all right, what else? My shoe is untied. Yes, that's where I'm fixing my sh untied shoe. Yeah, I properly positioned the camera, let's see. Yeah, that's good. Do, 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 shoe time music. Oh, you don't need shoe time music. Uh, fuck. So, yeah, it's just the same old stuff. I mean, I wish I could, you know, get to this, um, you know, this next level I keep looking for. <laughs> yeah, gotta take this somewhere, gotta work on this. So, anyway, let's see what else is going on. So, obviously, the amendum he is no longer posting on YouTube. So that's news, right? No one cares. Uh, but, uh, let's see. I did do a response video to the skeptical heretic guy, finally. Uh, didn't watch his original video. I mean, I, you know, I just figured, okay, another nihilist talking about Sam Harris stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, something finally provoked me to go watch it. And it was thoroughly irritating. Uh, stupid analysis. You know, it's, everything, it's just, yeah, the Hitler card. That was all it was, really. Oh, if you can attempt to be... Uh, to put things to some sort of rational standard, you're just being Adolf Hitler. Yeah, not getting the fact that the Nazis didn't have anything to do with seeking the truth. <laughs> I mean, it was all about lies and propaganda. So, yeah, just call everybody a liar and a propagandist. Nobody's looking for the truth. No one's doing it honestly. No one can do it honestly. Yeah, bullshit. Speak for yourself. You know, look in the mirror with that Hitler crap. Maybe that's what you see. Maybe that's why you see it in everybody else, right? I'll pull that kind of psycho babble on you. Maybe your your Hitler phobia. Hitler's everywhere. Uh, maybe it's because that's what you see in the mirror every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the warbles thing is kind of dead. But you know, maybe the conversation on efficiencies and economies is worth having here or there sort of a physics conversation in a way you know the whole talking about how to get the most out of energy and the fact that we still aren't doing cars quite right um certainly aren't doing them right in the sense that they cost 10 zillion dollars <laughs> you know there's just i don't really understand it uh i mean it seems strange is you can't really buy just a good utility car you gotta get all this fluff and feather shit uh that's another subject uh yeah <laughs> just ran out of gas uh, i totally need a nap all right be strong yeah i'm talking to myself uh <laughs> yeah i'm saying back to myself Fuck you! <laughs> I don't wanna. Uh, yeah. All right, what else is news? Amazing atheist uh, question video, and uh, he's just getting way too lazy. <laughs> you know, he's just—I mean, it's just that he couldn't care less. Uh, he doesn't even try to uh, make an uh, create an answer of some kind. He just, you know walks right past everything so and then he, he did it and he accelerated the speed of the video which i think is fine but you can't really do it without doing the the thing that corrects for the 
you know, the, the whatever. You know, the, there's some programs that can accelerate the speed by taking the dead spaces out, and so it accelerates your voice by taking all the pauses out. And uh, yeah, it's a lot more sensible. Uh, but anyway, uh, the chipmunk thing is really irritating sometimes. Uh, you know, and you only save whatever 5% for a pretty big degrade in listening quality. Uh, but anyway, this doesn't really matter. Not terribly important. Uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm really. Uh, uh. But the uh, subject of um, this idea of the truth and nailing it down, establishing a, a factual chain, it does seem very simple. I mean, it's not that much content here. I, I keep saying it, but yeah, you can do these 20 minute videos, even 10 minute videos if you're really articulate and you speak fast and get it done. Yeah, you can pretty much spell out the major truths of human existence, the truths of our origin, the truths of our residual psychology, um, what the nature of the game is. Uh, yeah, and it's, there's not anything in there that's very redeeming, unless you think the word addiction is a good word. <laughs> I mean, that's all we really got, is um, attachments that create a, an attractive force, and we are compelled uh, by the, that circumstance. And, you know, what's the difference between attraction and repulsion? I mean, it's basically the same thing. Uh, you're... You know, are you being pushed towards, are you being pulled towards, or are you being pushed away from where you are? It's, uh, that gets to be kind of an interesting question. Uh, how do you make the distinction? But you could almost argue that gravity isn't something pulling you towards the center of the Earth down there, uh, but you're actually being pushed, <laughs> you know, into it. Uh, that where you are is the non-good state and you're being compelled to move to this other state uh, yeah anyway so that's uh probably try to do some videos on that kind of general this is really dirt simple and the, the only reason why it's complicated is people are brought up attached to these cultural icons, these cultural uh, monuments, whatever you want to call them, these road markers, some other word they use for that. Uh, yeah, damn, post, hitching posts. <laughs> yeah, I keep coming up with something close, but these aren't quite right. Uh, but anyway, along the trail there are those things, and uh, that's familiarity. That's the, the stone that people found things on are those 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 elements of culture and uh, they're very defensive of them because their whole identity is built out of that crap out of uh, these this this familiar yardstick this uh, let's see how to yeah they're just they're just wrapped up in that math and if you're going to force their math to be rationalized, then all of a sudden they're not going to look good. It's that kind of thing. It's like if you change the way you judge uh, the, the, the value or the success or the what the finish line involves, they're pissed off because the changes, they've, they've constructed their life built on the current rules and uh, you know, they don't like the fact that they're deranked, <laughs> you know, by some new set of rules. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's probably too ambiguous for you to understand exactly what I'm thinking when I'm saying that. Yeah, you know, you're going to have to be more concise on that one. So, what else? Who else did anything of note? 
Uh, old fan's been doing her stick ham on Thursdays, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I just can't, you know, I'm just spread too thin lately. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say there. It does keep uh, turning into the Gary Pirro show, which is kind of, you know, yeah. uh, it's always the same group of people, which is kind of funny. We do have to enlarge and embiggen our cult. <laughs> you know, uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, I wish there was something else, but there really isn't much. Modern Mystic's been back at the usual routine, but not saying much. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really respond to my plea, <laughs> you know, that he explain exactly how I don't understand the fundamentals. But, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's, that's all that's from my perspective going on. It's all I can conjure up. Yeah, not much. Fred's going to read from a book of Wee Woo. Which doesn't really throw me to pieces. <laughs> you know. Ugh. Yes. This Buddha crap always does keep popping up in places and ish. Yuck. I guess this is a great rationalization. Well, I mean it's a a conventionally accepted rationalization. But oh yes, well you can be habit depressive, um, dissatisfied, uh, cynical and uh, skeptical philosophy. And it's all okay, because Buddha did it, and he said, just play along. <laughs> so it's okay. Just pretend it doesn't exist. And that's just such bullshit. Let's just pretend there's no problem uh, with the fundamentals. And let's just pretend that uh, somehow it doesn't really matter. Nothing to get all upset about. Being upset isn't going to help anything, so don't bother with that. Uh, forgetting that it's only upset people that do anything about anything. <laughs> so if you're not being bothered, then you're not going to be bothered. Ooh, there we go. That's it. Come on, now. that's a great quote, right? You know, if you're not bothered, then you're not going to be bothered. That's a great quote. Yeah. So it's got to bother you, or you're not going to do shit about it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It all comes down to that selfish thing. And somebody left a comment on that. I have to do another video on that. Um, just because people just don't really get this thing that, you know, altruism always has to become personal. I'm not saying that there aren't great principles. I'm not saying that um, there isn't a capacity to do things fundamentally for the principle, but part of the doing it for the principle is this emotional investment. You have to emotionally invest in the idea that that's the truth and that's what's necessary. And uh, to, to make your body do it, you actually have to be personally invested. It has to mean something to you personally um, for you to get the body to play along to get your will uh, to, to be motivated, uh, you have to, uh, the, the meme has to uh, weave itself into your emotional character. It has to have a hook in your emotional character uh, or the meme will have no power uh, to move you. Yeah. All right, I'm done now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd really like to just mellow out, but I just can't. Ugh, it's irritating. And such.